probably just killed uh, Josh. That's probably what that face was. But we'll see. I'm probably gonna die because of this stuff back there though, possibly. And that. Damn it. Oh my god, I cannot push Damn it. Damn it, everybody. She's gonna die. Still alive, but I got hit. Damn, I jacked that up bad. Wait, Em, where's Matt? Is he okay? 
Matt, oh God, we, we couldn't use the cable car, so we climbed the tower and then it fell and we were down in the mine, like way down, down in this terrifying freaking mine shaft. Hold on, hold on. And, and then it, it was Matt and me down there and, oh God, I think that Matt might be dead. Wait, what? Wow. Emily, what happened? I, I was walking down there in the mines and it was dark and I found this pile and there was Beth's head. Wait, what? Beth's head, I found oh it. Oh my god. What the fuck? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Listen, in in the tower there was there was a radio and and I got through to someone, but then that was right when the tower collapsed. Em. You made it. Oh god, yeah, yeah, Mike. Barely. What about Matt? We're trying to figure that out. Yeah, and then there was this monster that was chasing her. She's all messed up, guys. Emily? Hey, Em? Whoa. What the fuck can that be? Josh. Jess? It's not Jess. Sorry, man, but who is it? I don't know. We should check it out. Matt, Matt, maybe? Good. Or no, yeah, no, he's definitely dead. That's right. I forgot. Uh, the doctor or the hobo that was living up. That cannibal dude thing. Oh, what the hell? Okay. I'm gonna open the door. You ready? You ready? Oh, it's that. Oh my god, it's the Just do it already. Whoever it is, is probably gone by now. I, unless you want me to take the gun. No, no, no. I think that's less good. You do the door. I got the gun. On there. Cap him. Hold on there, mister. Oh Wait, my god. Oh, all right, all right. Just take it easy, Grandpa. Okay, everybody, just calm down. Now, just move over there. Go on, move. Let me say what I came to say. I'm here to tell you what you're up against being back on this mountain. You should never have returned. I don't know why you did after what happened. You mean with Hannah and Beth? Yeah, how could you know without being involved? How are responsible? You hold on to your horses. I don't take kindly to you kids coming up here to my mountain. Your mountain? Huh? I'm sure the Washingtons would be very surprised to hear that. <laughs> well, the mountain don't belong to me, it's true. But it don't belong to the Washingtons. This mountain belongs to the Wendigo. <laughs> Who? What's he talking about? The hell's a Wendigo? Let's hear him out. Not like we have a choice. Now, I'm only gonna tell you this once. It doesn't matter to me if you believe it or not. I got reasons I wanna get it off my chest. See? I told you. He's guilty as shit. Guilty as something. Shut up, Mike. There is a curse that dwells in these mountains. Should any man or woman resort to cannibalism in these woods, the spirit of the Wendigo shall be unleashed. Oh, crap. What? You're gonna need to find somewhere safe. The basement might be okay. Okay, get down there now, all of you, and wait. What? Why? For how long? Until dawn. Guys, I ran off and left Josh when I heard screaming. Where did you leave him? In the shed. Uh, your friend will already be dead. No. No, he, he can't be. I, we, we were just with him. A lot can happen quickly on this mountain. No. I, I'm not letting anything else happen to him. Anything else? What, what do you mean? Uh, Chris, don't. I hit him. We thought he'd kill Jessica, and, and, and so he got me riled up. And I hit him in the head. Chris! Maybe he deserved it. No matter what, we can't just let him die. Then, I'll go with you. I, I don't need your help. Me going alone is suicide. Fine. The rest of you, get down to the basement. Be safe. And don't go outside again until we're back. You don't seem to understand the magnitude of the situation. Well, I'm going to get Josh, aren't I? No, I'm going to get Josh. You're going to help me. 
Do you understand? Uh, yeah, I think so. You need to follow me and do everything I tell you. This is the end. You point towards the thing you want to kill. I know how to use a shotgun, man. No, you don't. What? How do you know? Trust me. I know. Hey. Come back safe. It's help time. Damn. We need to hurry, son. I, uh... See you soon. So, so tell me, you're the expert on these things. What's uh, what, what's a guy got to know? You just be careful. You follow my lead. So, how many times do I have to shoot it with the shotgun before it's dead? Well, you've been shooting it a long time. You, you mean this thing won't even kill it? No, it'll slow it down. Well, how do you kill it? They don't like fire. I don't like fire. They fear it. And I can kill them. If you have to. See, their skin is like... It's like tough armor. Unless you burn it off first. It's gross. Well, what, what are these things like? I mean, are they just crazy unpredictable? Or, I mean, can you figure out what they're gonna do? some patterns, like any animal, or human. Well, you mean like how? Like they've got schedules? Well, they only hunt at night. Oh. Why? I didn't ask. The, uh, pro-Wendigo tips? Like if I rub garlic all over me, they would feel the smell me or something? Oh, they don't okay. smell you. Anything like that. If he's dead, I guess it's my fault because he was unconscious and he not still. Do anything? That is the case, and I guess it kind of sucks. Not really, though. He's kind of dementia. Josh, he could still be out there. <laughs> First, the wind you go. He'll render you immobile. And then he strips the skin off of your entire body, piece by piece. Again, he keeps you alive and aware and feasts on your organs, one piece at a time. So we'll launch that. Oh! Ah! 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 